We at Stray Cat want to congratulate the Ukrainian army for sinking of the Russian battleship. Hang in there, Ukraine. That's what it'll look like and sound like tomorrow morning. SpaceX plans to launch a Falcon 9 rocket from Vandenberg Space Force Base. Lift off set for 6.27 a.m. SpaceX then reports about eight minutes after that blast off, the Falcon 9's first stage will return to land at Vandenberg. During that re-entry, residents of Santa Barbara, San Luis Obispo, and Ventura counties might hear that sonic boom. That might wake you up, <laughs> but maybe not. Depends on weather conditions and other factors. Come and ride along with Hawkeye and Jeannie on a journey visiting cities, communities, villages, towns, ghost towns, internment camps, beach camps, desert camps, space camps, and some other historical places of interest to determine what is really going on during the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic. Click on that little black cat image on the bottom right-hand corner to subscribe. Absolutely free and absolutely no charge. No credit card needed. Be notified when new episodes are available to be viewed. Usually, every Friday at 11.45 a.m., but not guaranteed. It is our recommendation that if you are new to Hawkeye's Tales and Trails, start at the beginning with episode 1. Please share our videos with others. The videos are unscripted documentaries of Hawkeye and Jeannie's travels. Their mission is to show you places, things and events that you may not normally get to see or hear. Then publish videos on YouTube for you to check out. Remember that all information is deemed to be reliable and it just might be. Episode 97 really has three topics this episode. The SpaceX rocket launch from Vandenberg Space Force Base. Hawkeyes and Genies stay at Halama Beach Park and an epiphany regarding a painted rock movement. Who knew? Halama Beach County Park is a seaside campground and park located in Santa Barbara County, California, approximately 20 miles southwest of Lompoc, California, off California State Route 1. Halama was once the site of a Chumash people settlement named Halama, Jalam, Zalem, or Shilamaxtish. With the arrival of Spanish missionaries and the establishment of the La Purisima mission in 1787, the inhabitants were relocated to the mission and the settlement was reportedly abandoned. Following California's admission to the United States, the park became the property of the Atlantic Richfield Oil Company, ARCO. Despite being private property, citizens of nearby Lompoc frequently camped at the beach. In May 1943, the Atlantic Richfield Oil Company agreed to donate 23.5 acres of the beach to the county of Santa Barbara for use as a park. In 2007, the California Coastal Commission transferred an additional 36 acres of privately held land to the county of Santa Barbara to further expand the beach. That was really cool. Today, Halama features day-use picnic areas along with overnight camping facilities and cabins for rent. There are 107 campsites, including 31 sites with electrical hookups and a dump station is available. The park also features the Halama Beach Store, including the Halama Grill. I think that I have seen this place in a movie. Did you see that movie? What do you think? Have an extraordinary day. I am Pagan Woman Warrior Queen, Calithia, the hostess of Hawkeye's Tales and Trails. Good day, muchachos and muchachas. Here is Hawkeye and Jeannie. Uh, one thing you wouldn't have a problem with, if there was a tsunami warning, so many of the places we camp along the beach have those, because you're in the tsunami zone, we could get to high ground pretty quick.
I'm st okay. Do what? I think I got to get out of here. Okay. Yeah, I'll take it up with me. Okay. Uh, how do we answer about the porta potty thing? <laughs> hey. Hey, how you doing, man? Are you currently filming me? Oh yeah, I was gonna ask you, is that okay? That's fine. I'll yeah. put you on our YouTube channel, man. Right on, brother. How are we doing today? Doing okay. I believe we have a reservation for spot number 71. 71. Do you mind if I take a look at your ID? Oh, you can. Alright, what's your name, man? My name's Kyler. Kyler. Where are you from? I'm from Santa Maria, but I live in Lombok. Okay. Um, are you going to be the second vehicle for 71? Negative. Possibly a different number for the side because somebody's already checked in 71. Let's what? look you up though. I'll just look your last name up. Don't worry. Yeah, there's not too many of us around. I imagine so. Yeah, all my friends call me Hawkeye. Nice to meet you, Hawkeye. My well, pleasure is here. Man. 70. Oh, sorry, I was looking at who was departing from 71. I got you coming in. You got any dogs with you? Nah, just the old lady. Right? That's not very nice. <laughs> Let's get you in the... All right. Are you familiar with the park? Uh, yeah, we've been here before. It's been a while. Right on. Do you know where your site is? No. Yeah. This Point. is going to go on your windshield drive side. Here's your okay. ID back. All right, so we're right here, facing this way. Okay. Take a big left U-turn. Come all the way around. 71 is going to be right there. Okay. This is bathroom. You guys is going to be right here. All right. Shower building's right behind us right here. You can get quarters at the store and grill. Thank you very much, You're man. Welcome. Hey, live long and prosper. Right on. You too. Okay. Yeah, he was totally cool about it. How about what? The toilet? No, recording them. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dog don't like me, huh? That effect on people. Haven't photographed inside of the van in a while. All the stuff hanging here. That's a mirror. Like my new sunglasses? Yeah, I thought I'd get a couple pictures here while our neighbors are gone. Most people don't like being photographed. Smell cigarette smoke. Yeah, 
caught in a rip current. Call the FBI. This beach is like 14 miles off California Highway 1. We're about 10 miles out of Lone Park. <laughs> Party boys. Today, just for the record, today is April 10th, and here is a notice that everybody here at the campground needs to vacate the park on April 15th, which most of you know is the day that tax forms are due. But from 3 a.m. to 7 a.m. by Vandenberg Air Force Base for a scheduled event, no, everyone must leave the park during the above times for public safety. Sorry for the inconvenience and thank you for your cooperation. You are beach staff and we got a picture of a rocket ship right there. Also, if anybody's looking for a job, they're looking for a ranger trainee. And uh, very well kept bathrooms. Well, hopefully the third time is a charm. SpaceX has delayed a launch from Vandenberg Air Force Base for a second time. It was planning to launch a satellite into orbit for the National Reconnaissance Office right about now, but it has been postponed due to excessive winds. SpaceX will try again tomorrow morning to launch that satellite. Okay, you listen to the end of Morty Robinson here. And what they do here is you come out here, the menu's outside, and then you go inside and order. You got tight, I think, too. Go inside here. This way. Okay, check out this thing here.
you used to it. And I'm like, what? One of the beautiful things about this place is no Wi-Fi, no cell phone. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, here's Jeannie enjoying her camping breakfast. <laughs> and here's a Alama breakfast breakfast. <laughs> and you know us being the world travelers that we are. Um, you know, I'm always in search of the best cheeseburger. And, you know, recently we went to Mission Inn. Oh, yeah. And I thought that was going to be the world's best cheeseburger. But here it is, man, right here, a Hamola <laughs> egg and bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> this is the heart best. Of, heart attack in a wrapper. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. You have to live a good life. <laughs> if this kills me, it'll all been worth it. Okay, here, I'm trying to keep it in the sun. Check this out, look at that, egg, bacon, plus all the other fixings. You know, all you the fixings. Pickles, tomato, red onion, shredded lettuce. And if I was a really nasty guy, I'd show you a photograph of me eating it. But you don't want to see that. No, we're, we're going to turn the camera off now. It's like a semi-Mac truck hitting Bambi. <laughs> SpaceX does it again. The company owned by Elon Musk has successfully launched a U.S. spy satellite into orbit for a second time. First time was in February. And again, a spy, sat a spy satellite was attached to a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. It blasted off this morning from Vandenberg Air Force Base in Lompoc. Engineers say the first stage rocket made a picture-perfect landing at Vandenberg eight minutes later, so it can be used for even more missions. If you recall episode 70 entitled Mermaid's Tale, we had an interaction with Kelly from Westport, Washington. Introduce yourself. Okay, I'm Kelly and um, we do rocks here in Westport, Washington and here at the Mermaid Museum is a rock um, painting bucket where you, where it's a trading thing, you take a rock and you leave a rock, but a lot of people don't have rocks when they come here. Mm -hmm. so. I give you permission to take one or two with you and you can take them back to California with you and distribute them out there and I'll replenish them with my painted rocks. <laughs> have it yet, but you're more than welcome to take a few rocks out of here and take them back to California with you and I will let her know. Now see I do rocks like these ones here and I'll yeah. do and I put lighthouses on. Oh, no. But they have the names on the backs of them and like Janet Bellis. She's actually the one that got me doing doing the lighthouses yeah and uh my very first rock what's that on there dj a crab yeah and they we have this here and then we have another one downtown and and um they're just people are just in the rock movement she was their first introduction to the painted rock movement the Kindness Rock Project is a viral trend where people, commonly children, paint pebbles or cobbles and leave them for others to find and collect. The trend originated in the US and has spread to the UK, Australia, New Zealand, as well as other countries. International Drop a Rock Day is an unofficial holiday celebrated on July 3rd, in which people are encouraged to leave a painted rock in a public space. Here is Jeannie. All right, here's a little beach we picked up a little rock we picked up at Hobson Beach. Apparently, um, the first time we encountered this phenomenon was when we were uh, in Washington, uh, in the town of Aberdeen. Well, yeah, the Mermaid Museum. The Mermaid Museum. There were painted rocks there. And so everywhere we're going, like this one for Ukraine, this is recent, Yeah. we're finding these little rocks in our campsite. So I'm gonna have to bring my acrylic paints next time. And uh, what this one gal told us is that you take a rock, you leave a rock. Yeah. We have no rocks to leave, so we need to start painting. All right. Um, I really don't have anything to say. It's obviously a new phenomenon going on. We'll be reporting back to you, you know, as soon as we get more information. It's obviously a new phenomenon. Obviously, a new phenomenon going on. No, phenomenon. <laughs> phenomenon. No. <laughs> Cat. Cat. <laughs> <laughs>